We're also following up on the relocation of books within the Huntsville-Madison Public Library system. Library officials say they recently asked their staff to examine their book collections. They compiled a list of books with what they say contains sexually explicit content and information relating to the LGBTQ plus community. Tonight, Way 31's Jillian Kay is looking into new controversy, speaking with the public library's deputy chair to try to get some answers about why one particular book was added to the list. This children's book is the one behind the controversy as it was almost taken off the shelves at Huntsville and Madison Public Libraries. All of this over the author's last name, Gay. Marie Louise Gay wrote, Read Me a Story Stella, which was included on a list of questionable books created by the library system. Deputy Chair Connie Chow says the incident is causing them to put a pause on their relocation program and reevaluate their practices. We had pulled the name just based on some search terms that we were looking into and of course that shows that it's preliminary list. Those are things that we're still looking through and that title was not moved. Chow says she wants to be clear saying read me a story Stella was never taken off the shelf. She says their system is trained to raise questions about all sexually explicit content and information associated with the LGBTQ plus community but it does not mean they will immediately remove those books. We have had a lot of community feedback about the, about the things that have been going on in the system. Um, we're also talking to our board and our staff as well. So we don't have an end date this time, but we are definitely actively in looking into solutions for this. Chow says they do not have an exact number of how many books have been relocated so far, but claims the library has returned every book to its original location. She says they will not be moved again until they reach a decision on how to move forward. So I check. Mom of three, Mandy Abbott, says she will always check what her kids are reading, but would appreciate a little help from a library book sorting system. I would like to work together. I don't want to be my trip to the library be nonstop, you know, trying to hide books. Yeah, I, w I would prefer some books be put to the side, and then if I want to search that out without my kids around, then I can do that on my own. Now I fact checked myself by going in and checking out the book Read Me a Story Stella myself. I was immediately directed to the children's section and was able to find the book under the letter G no problem. From outside Huntsville Madison Public Library, Jillian K. Way 31 News.